What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be sharing with you the state machine I've built. This one is a little bit too complicated for a actual tutorial video, so we'll go over it very quickly. But it's exactly the same thing as you think it is. It's the same thing as the movement that we had, but instead of having it all in one script like we did, so here in the side scroller motor, instead what we're doing is we're splitting that in multiple parts so we can have multiple states in the future. So the way it works is that every single um, state that you can go through so are you walking are you running are you gliding are you rolling are you mounting a horse they all have a different script in which they override a process motion function so let's have a look very quickly at one of them so every state has to override something called process motion which is basically i send in a vector of my input what i what i press on the keyboard and then this function will return me what I should be doing with that input, depending, of course, what the, the state is. So if it's a falling state, then we're going to be applying a little bit of speed so we can still move in the air, and then we're going to apply the um, gravity. So we fall, basically. But if it was a rolling, then um, and you, you can't control your direction, then, of course, you would be taking your direction at the beginning of the state, which you can do. I'll show you how in a second. And then just apply that throughout a certain amount of time. Now, all of these, they all inherit from something called base state. And in the base state, we have the opportunity to use construct, deconstruct, and transition, which are a call. Um, this is when we enter the state, this is when we leave the state, and this is at every single frame during the state. See that as an update loop, but I use it for transition, so um, let's have a look at jump. When you're jumping, I override transition because it's being called every frame, and I look, hey, is my vertical velocity below zero? If that's the case, let's change over to fall state which will then um, trigger a couple of things. It will trigger a destroy on this state. So it will trigger destroy on um, state underscore jump Him right here. I don't use it, so you know it doesn't do anything. I don't override destroy, but if we wanted to do something once we're out of the jump state, you'd be doing it here. And then it does a construct on fall state. Um, again, here I don't use construct, but you can see it in action in jump. So this is being called when I enter the jump state. Like set your animation, um, set your motor velocity, vertical velocity, and also give it a small immune time. Now when I'm processing that input, like applying the gravity, applying the speed, I do have some helper function I've made. So apply gravity, this is just applying gravity, apply speed, just simply apply the speed. Um, follow floor, this is exactly like we had in um, the side scroller. So I'm following the floor normal. In case we're going downhill, I want to snap to the downhill, I don't want to jitter a little bit, like fall off and then um, go in the falling state and so on. Um, kill vector is to get rid of when you're jumping into a wall and you get stuck in there. So this is pretty much um, this is pretty much how you construct your state. You can go ahead and create one for like extreme jump or super jump or rolling or gliding or hanging off a ledge or something. You can do all of that and everything is being managed through the player motor. So this is the big script you'll want to be having a look at. Um, has a couple of things. You have the raycast from the um, side-scroller movement episode. You have a couple of configuration you can change here at the top and a lot of logic fields. So yeah, everything is being handled here. All you need to know is the following. You have a public virtual function over here. It's virtual, but we don't have any um, overload, so it doesn't have to be right now. But in case you're uh, inheriting from player motor, you could override that. And this change state. It called destruct on the last one and it calls um, construct on the new one. That being said, if you are to create yourself some new state, which I do recommend that you do, and you do experiment with this model, it's actually quite a fun one. It's a quite a, a scalable model for your movement in your game. You're going to have to add, the way I've made it, you're gonna have to add the, um, the state directly here on the object itself. And that's it. So I'm releasing this base code for people that do subscribe to the channel. Do know that at this point, uh, the point you're watching the video, I've most likely changed a couple of things and push an update. So you can always uh, appreciate more states that I've made in the future. <laughs> now this code is released for the people who do subscribe on the channel and the people who do support us um, on Patreon and also in the comment section down below. Basically this code is, is available for people who are around. Um, and you can find it over on our website, second link in the description down below. You click on download, it is right here, movement state machine. That's the one you're looking for. Um, by the time you're looking at this, it might be down the list. You might even have to scroll down. Um, but yeah, here it is, you click on it, download, 
and I forgot to do something, so I'll fix that, but by the time you're watching the video, it's going to work. Um, that being said, I've also fixed the XP you get from comments, so I left myself a comment, you can see over here, got two points for that. If there's likes on your comment, you get point on top of that. Uh, a couple of people do have a lot of point from getting likes, so... And that is pretty much it guys, thank you so much for watching once again. Um, go subscribe on the website, actually not the website, go subscribe on YouTube and join us on the website, you can have your account there, of course. Um, when I fix everything and you subscribe to the channel, you're gonna get a 300 XP here on the Google section. It should be YouTube actually, but hey, I'll fix that as well. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching once again. I will see you in the comment section down below and also on Discord. Cheers.